All right, welcome everyone. Let's discuss uh, the difference between two important tenses in English, and it's very important to understand this one. It's about the difference between the past simple tense and the present perfect simple tense. In uh, translation, we could say the difference between chas, present perfect, and milichas, past uh, past simple. You can find it in your books. Uh, if you are in the third year, then it's an intermediate to be page 22. If you are in the second year, then this is the pre-intermediate 6D uh, on page 66. First, we need to discuss the overall uh, situation and context uh, when we use these tenses. At first, past simple, as we all should know, happens in the clear past. Yes, now we lost. Now, uh, the clear past I can describe by uh, saying in the sentence. So, in the sentence. So, in the sentence, I will tell you when it happened. Uh, it happened last week. It happened a year ago. It happened when I was young. It happened in 2012. It happened at 6 o'clock, and so on. This can be in the sentence. And it can also be in the context. So that means, in the situation, I know exactly when it happened. For example, we are talking about uh, our last holiday, and uh, we are talking for two minutes. And later on, I will still say I went to uh, the Netherlands, for example. And I don't have to say when, because I know from context that we are talking about the last holiday. And then it's clear, right? It's still clear. So. Then the second one, it means it's finished, alright? The idea is about it being finished, so there's no effect, no effect on now, alright? There's no effect on right now. If you look at the present perfect tense, that's a very different thing, uh, because it's also clear. Uh, unclear past is the opposite. If we translate it, then neasna most. Then it be said to stop just then. So uh, maybe I don't tell you when it happened. You just know it happened in the past, but I don't know where. All right? And then we have some uh, words that will discuss the past, but I don't know when it happened exactly. So for example, we can use the words like just, pravi se nečo already, už se nečo stalo. Then I can say not yet. Ještě se něco nestalo. Then I can say so far and so on. So far znamená do teďka, do této doby. Znamená od minulosti až do teď se něco nestalo nebo stalo. And then uh, the second thing is that it is unfinished. Alright? If it's unfinished, that means there is some result. There are some results. We give Matthew see a visladek the akce, která se v stabilnosti stala. Jestli já jsem někde byl na prázdninách v minulém čase, potom to nemá nějaký velký efekt na mě, co se týká toho, že jsem tam byl. Možná ano, nějaký emocionální efekt, ale potom bych musel použít něco jiného. Ale jestli jsem tam jenom jel a říkám, že jsem tam jel, potom už je to skončené a nemá to vliv na dnešní. Let's see uh, the timelines. So, if you look at the past, I know exactly when it happened, alright? And if you look at the present perfect, I don't know when it happened, and then it can continue until now, alright? So, I don't know when it happened, and it can be until now. So, uh, for example, let's look at the example of sentences for this one. Uh, I will discuss the form a little bit later. Now, uh, if we talk about the past, and I say I lived, I lived in Prague, and then I lived in Prague. All right. So here, if I use the past, that means I don't live there now. It is finished. All right. And I know that it happened in some past. Uh, here, I don't really have to know when, because I know it is finished. If I know it is finished and it doesn't continue, 
I don't really need to tell you the clear past, right? All the way this, but I don't know when exactly. And if I say I have lived in Prague, that means I live there, live there now. So as I told you, there's some kind of, uh, it's unfinished, there's some kind of result. The result is I live there now. You can also see this having an effect on uh, today. This is one possible difference that we can learn. And the other one, what if I say I've seen uh, some movie, let's say I've seen Batman. still see more Batman in the future, right? I can still see more of the movie and I don't know when I saw it, uh, whether it was last week, was it last uh, Monday and so on. But the most important thing is that it is not finished. I can still watch more of the Batman. And if you say, I saw Batman many times, uh, if you say many times, then uh, I cannot really say that because it means that I cannot see it again. If I cannot see it again, it would be finished. And what exactly is finished here? My life is finished. That means I'm dead and I cannot see uh, Batman again. Then I can say that I saw Batman many times, but I cannot say this when I'm dead, so it doesn't make much sense. But what you could say, I saw Batman yesterday. Because here, I'm telling you the clear past. I know exactly when it happened. It is finished. Yesterday is finished, so I know when it happened. But if I just say it like this, I saw Batman many times, then I am finished. Alright? Because then, it must be finished if I use this tense. And I don't have any time here. There is no time mentioned here. So if I don't mention the time, then something must be finished. And it would be me. Because I cannot see it again. Alright? It would be finished. You see, there are a lot of different uh, situations in English where you can make a big misunderstanding among people if you use the wrong tense. Let's have a look at the form. So the negative, all right? The positive. The, uh, or let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. First, the positive. So I saw or I watched. One of them is regular, right? The other one I must remember. Then here we have I have seen, I've seen. Okay? Or I've watched. And again, this one is regular, so we just put ED. The other ones here we must remember. The second form and the third form. Uh, then we have the negative. I would say, I didn't see, and I didn't watch. Then here I have not seen, I've not seen, or you would also say, I haven't seen, or I haven't watched. There's a crucial difference here. You should see that the form of the main verb stays the same. So here we have ED still, but here, if you look here, we have didn't and watch becomes the basic form, the infinitive, that's all. Alright, so in the past, be careful because in negative and in questions, the, the form uh, will change here, it will go back to its previous uh, basic form. So the question here would be, did you, did you watch? Or did you see? The answer would be yes I did or no I didn't. And here, have you have you seen or have you watched? And I would answer yes I have or no I haven't. So we know the context, this is the situation when I use this, then we know the form 
And here were some examples. Uh, let me give you a few more examples so we can practice again. I lived in Prague. I don't, li I don't live there right now if I say I lived in Prague. Okay? My action of living there is finished. That will be here. Or I can say when I lived there. So I lived in Prague in 2014, for example. If I say I have lived in Prague, there is some kind of effect on right now, some kind of result, and that means I still live there. Right? It still continues. That's the idea. And then I told you uh, if I say I've visited many countries, right? And if I say I visited many countries, so as I told you before, past must be finished, or I know when it happened. The thing that is finished is me, I, because I cannot visit the country again. It is a finished thing. My life is finished. I would be in a funeral, I would be dead if I say that. Now, I have visited many countries, that means until now, I don't know when I visited the countries, and until now, I have been to a lot of countries, until now. I am still alive, my life is not finished, and I can visit more countries. So, I hope this makes it a little bit easier to understand. Uh, uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me on Google Classroom and uh, I will see how well you do the exercises uh, in, uh, in your homework. So, thank you very much for listening.